Yasas everyone, it's Platsborum and welcome to my latest boop, 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 boop video. And today I'm going to play Sim Airport. It is a game which is about building your own airport. And because you know me very well, I really love to go on travels and then go frequently on airports. And of course, you know sometimes what kind of opinions I have about airports. It's really awful when you come here because the passport control is before the scan so you cannot take any drinks into the plane and you've got a huge queues when you want to get to the gate because of these goddamn scanners. And today I'm going to build my own airport. So let's get into this game. One thing what I noticed is that it got started in German but because I switched it back to English it still remains in German so that is was something what I find pretty weird. I mean obviously it's in English right now. So let's get into Neues Spiel and how are we going to start? Career mode, sandbox or scenario? I think let's go into the career mode and start from scratch. Starting from scratch will begin with an empty plot of land but requires more time to get your airport up and running. If you're a new player we recommend leaving this off to get started playing sim airport right away with your, your built-in starter airport layout. We are going to leave it turned off and start it in default settings. Government grants, passenger experience track, Hygiene requirements, hire at least two janitors, place 10 litter bins, get packs environment satisfaction to at least 60% unlocks the next tier for this track. Yeah, I think this will be pretty easy going. So what we can see here, it is the airport and it is a pretty small one to be honest with you. So what I'm going to do now is employ some staff. So I am going to employ a janitor. Let's employ him right now. Let's see. Objects. Hmm. hmm, maybe an arcade driver game would be actually really nice so that kids can play. Or maybe me. Let's search bin. Just needs to be here close to the gate one, here at the ticketing area. It is really complicated. I have absolutely no idea what I have to do. The windows are very, very big. I need to make them smaller. However, I don't know how to do that. So what we're going to find now is let's find some really nice flights. So this means we're going to find here in the flight management system what kind of airlines we're going to pick. And I think we're going to pick, let, let's think Union Air. And what we're going to do, I have no idea. Let's accept all the flights. And apart from that, let's pick hmm, maybe Star Flight. That would be also cool. Let's accept them all. That's also good. And this one. This requires afternoon time slot. Morning arrival time slot. Let's take it here. Because it's going too slow, I'm going to make it faster. Build a functional kitchen and cafe. Get the overall pack satisfaction to at least 75%. So can I build a restaurant or a cafe? Let's see. No, this is the wrong menu. First of all, we need to find where we are. Yeah, there we go. There is cafe. Let's zone this area like a cafe of course a cash register so the thing is i don't know how i should turn some chilled food display the f hot food display why not also some f some chairs hmm let's take these ones because it was just a filthy dumbass i had no idea what i was doing so i'm going to build it all again so let's get this here i had no idea how to rotate this the stuff so let's get here the cash register oh well no cancel project it has to be like this or well no this is right at the door so this is not a good idea so i'm going to remain only like this okay so i need to f hire somebody who's working in retail set workers i need to get one more thing and this is a nice chair. So I need to get in here and get some cafe chairs. I don't know how they will be, but let's place them like this. Let's make again a zone. Make the cafe like this. This passenger goes with the coach star flight at gate A1 and he has no checked back. And what is the biggest problem with him? He is bored. Like, what the hell? Where is he going? Probably it has to do something because it's a Vlad's boredom. Bruh. Assign this to a kitchen in order to fulfill all orders. This is weird because I need to make this to a kitchen. 
is that? Here it is. So this requires a minimum size. So I need to make it like this and closed space prep cart and kitchen sink. So the first plane has arrived. So the departure is in 120 minutes. The passengers are getting in. Can you see the sheer amount of people who are one willing to get into this plane? And my cafe still isn't working because I don't have a cash register, but it is here. I believe I have to dismantle all of this because it surely won't be working. I believe I'm going to put the cafe here because it makes the most sense, doesn't it? It is winding and it sounds like as if it is raining. What the hell? Let's place all these weak cafe tables where they actually belong. I still have some on stock, but um, I cannot place them right now. So now let's get the cash register placed again here and put here the chilled food display and the hot food display too and get the drink machine and the coffee maker as well. Let's claim this to be the cafe. Assign this to Okay, minimum size is six with six. So I need to make it a bit bigger. Wind conditions worsening, so the flight will probably be delayed. What the hell? However, the plane arrived anyway. Let's get it clean and loaded with passengers. I know the passengers are bored and hungry, but I cannot do anything against it. I'm doing the best what I can. The satisfaction is anyway pretty good. I mean, it's 63%. I mean, come on, this is an achievement. What is an enclosed space? This is enclosed. It is inside the terminal building. What the hell is going on? No donuts and no sushi and no avocado and toast and pizza. Why is there no stock? Probably because it is just weird. Let's get some bench seats because you know the people are very, very uncomfortable when they have to wait for so long. Okay, so I see I need a, a kitchen storage. So I got a lot of these things too and I can also prepare some sushi and uh, and donuts but no pizza no crisps and no avocado on toast so what am i going to do now let's get some good stuff ah now finally it works well let's see how it will be oh staff let's see what i need i need a chef and done i think because so many people are waiting i need a, a some more seats so i need another bench the satisfaction is rising it's already at 69 percent people are hopefully less bored because they can get more and more stuff however there is still a sign of boredom but i have no idea how i can solve this because i'm missing some bins i need to include some more so let's place one here and one here and surely there has to be one here too and why not here as well and here and here, and here. Done, 100% tier one. So what is missing for a tier two? Get the overall pack satisfaction to at least 75%. We are on the very well way to get this. So unlock the next tier for this track. Build five stores, build two first class lounges. Oh no, that will be pretty difficult as far as I know. Why not having an ATM? Because ATMs are really good. Let's build one here. And what else can we get? I'm going to get another gate. Let's place that one here. I don't know why I want to build a new gate, but I think I can increase the passenger capacity so people will be happier and I will have a lot more flights. I'm going to dismantle again this all. I'm, I feel very sorry that I have to do this all the time, but let's be honest with you. I really need to get this sorted out. I'm going to make another wall. So let's draw it he from here. It is absolutely difficult. I have no idea what's going on in this game. It's just very complicated to understand. And I try really my best, but it is just so difficult to get this game done. However, all the stuff is being built, so I hope that I'm going to get all the things done. And maybe tomorrow my passenger satisfaction will be drained. Look at what kind of fast pace they are working so that I can increase my retail space. Beginner operator. Well, I think that I'm still too bad to be a, a good operator though. <laughs> and it probably will not improve at all. There is a serious lack of information. I don't know what's actually going on. So how can I solve this? 
let's search for information so there is a flight info display so why am i not placing a display here well no let's get one xxl because we are fancy let's get one here let's get a small one for here and here 76 percent well done so what i'm going to do now is open up a retail place and i don't know how i'm going to do this however I think it would be cool to open up hmm, a pizza joint would be nice. However, that's not what I'm going to take. Maybe a snack kiosk or here a souvenir display. However, I cannot rotate it. That's pretty sad though, but sushi. Well, no, we're actually going to sell it in the cafe again. Maybe here a makeup display. Let's make a little bar here because that will be a really good thing. And why not? A good place where to charge your phone like this maybe some pharmacy display here and a newsstand and why not maybe some jewelry surely there has to be also some vending machines for drinks and food and why not even for electronics how can I still have such a high customer satisfaction when there is no cafe and no kitchen anymore okay I'm completely messed up so this is pretty pretty sad to be honest with you however I'm pretty lucky that uh, the people appreciate the place more because I mean hey who wouldn't get a wee pint from the bar would you Oh, what's going on? You must build an ATC tower to accommodate more than 10 flights per day. I suggest we're going to make an ATC tower. So how am I going to do this? Mm, let's search ATC tower. I don't, I don't know if the second tower will be of any use, but I will try to make a use of the second gate because I would really like to get increase my customer satisfaction, even though it's not really working. However, even though the airport looks crap, I really like it though because it used to have a lot of cafes, It uh, the kitchen is also gone, and it has really, really nice nothing, to be honest with you. What I'm going to do now is following. I want to make another ticketing booth and get some ticketing desks. So because I had a big, big problem with my... Uh, with the settings, I needed to change them because they were really, really sluggish. And because of my English is not too good, I am going to place this one right here and this one here too. Ah, that is the that is the way how I'm, how I need to place the runway lights. I want every light you can get of the ILS here and the runway puppy puppy lights here too. I don't know how I have to place them. I'm not an aviation expert, but I think this would be actually enough. Look at this bustling airport. So many people inside. Isn't that satisfying AF? Write me in the comments below. What do you think about this airport? I think it looks pretty, pretty nice, even though it is actually really, really crappy. <laughs> this is pretty insane. So many people are waiting until they can go through the check. They, uh, I, I bet a lot of them are going to miss a flight. So probably I need to get a second security check. So let's build this up because I really want that the people can get into the airport without with getting also some stuff to buy and also not to forget some stuff from the cafe. But when the people are missing the flights, they, they really cannot focus on getting some stuff from my airport, but they really need to rush to, to the plane. So this is a really, this is really, really sad. I'm losing revenue like this and I cannot increase the capacity. So that's what I'm going to do. The people are really, really dissatisfied so many exclamation marks this is really really sad so what i need to place now is the security thing so i need to put a security scanner or better said a metal de detector and it has to be here and get the back scanner it has to be here so that the people can go here and here for the security check so that's pretty that much it because I need to increase my security staff, I need to buy two more. Maybe I can get some more stores because then the people will be even happier. Let's see, what do I have? Mmm, candy displays. Let's put them all here in the background. Okay, I need one more cash register. So I need another store and I need another cash register. So far so good, everything is going well. The people are pretty satisfied. The business is doing well. I'm getting 
money from uh, from the revenue from the airport infrastructure the thing is the airport is still crappy because some um, things still don't work and for some reason it's uh, there are always crappy wind conditions and it's always having storms it's pretty weird actually however i will never understand it and you know what it's absolutely not my business i don't care about this for some reason all the people they all they, they all go to this food vending machine okay for some reason the cafe is not being used because one thing is missing and this is the stove okay so so now the evening planes are going to come and also there's a little air uh, airplane and this one over here too i don't know if they will be actually able to get all the baggage stored appropriately uh, however i don't care because it's not my business actually it is but whatever the last people are queuing up and they're all boarding the flight so that it departs and it's gone so i believe there will be even one more flight which will depart or why the people are hanging out in the terminal yes there is the last flight everything is going well there the last few people are boarding and then the flight is going to fly away. Day 8 is finished, day 9 is started. I think it is a pretty, pretty good business. I mean, 78% satisfaction, airline interest 50%, and I lost quite a lot of money and didn't earn a lot back, but who cares? I don't know what kind of options I have here. What do you think about this game? Write it down in the comment section below. Also, if you love this gameplay of mine, leave me a thumb up. That will surely make me happy. And if you don't want to miss any of my future videos, make sure you subscribe me. If you're interested in some other sides of mine, check out my Instagram and my Discord server. Both links are in the description below. Stay tuned and I hope to see you the next time. Bye bye.